brief a lot, Rexy. We meet every Friday lunch, but that's mainly focused on uh, students tutoring each other on how to build and how to edit and how to script. No, Brad, they can't. They can't edit the artwork um, in in that particular virtual art gallery. It really is a um, a parallel parallel version of the external art gallery. If the question's coming. Uh, um, I am at an, an incredible school, Bronte. Um, this, the, the, the school is just about as innovative as it gets. Um, the culture is extremely in innovative. Um, and and uh, see, the, see, the school has grown from 300 students to, to 1,200 students in, in about eight, eight, or, eight or nine or ten years. And that means that most teachers who have joined the school joined the school knowing that they were joining yeah, a place where it was expected that they take risks. Having said that, <laughs> um, I probably work with seven, eight, nine or ten teachers uh, on Burali Island. All teachers are open to it, but there's so many other things that we're doing that this is at the high end of um, the time required. So with the best will in the world, a teacher needs several hours to get their, their heads around how to, how to get around in the world, let alone, <laughs> let alone managing 25 kids. I can tell you what, at the start of last year when I first took my French class in there, we, you know, we had 25 kids flying about the place, undressing, dressing, you know, wearing, wearing houses on their heads. And I'm trying to... I'm trying to um, get the kids to um, uh, get together so we can do these activities I designed. And I remember screaming at one of the kids in the classroom, put some pants off, I'm sorry, put some pants on, come down from the magic tree and sit on the chair. <laughs> and um, I never thought I'd be saying that <laughs> as a teacher. Um, but what that means is if I want to get other teachers to do this, they've got to be really confident in their management skills because it turns out that in this virtual space, yeah, behaviour management is just as much an issue, if not more, than if you're in a physical classroom. It's even harder because some kids might feel like they can just stand up and fly away if they don't want to hear what you're saying. Um, uh, no parents. So, yeah, Nymphy, good question. No, no, no parents have um, have really had any problem with the students logging in. We haven't had any negative incidences. Incidents. Yeah, it's it's um it's all been very positive. The worst thing that ever happened is a kid uploaded a picture of a beer can to their hut. You know, big deal. You know, I, I addressed that with him and, and we moved on. So what am, what do we actually do in this world then? <laughs> ah, perfect question, Lena. <laughs> you great minds think alike. Yeah. Well, you know, I think you read my mind. Yeah. No, I read your mind. Yeah. Um, so, so uh, I would, I would uh, talk about two. Oh, hi, Simone. Lovely to hear from you. Good to see you. Um, so, uh, yeah, the first broad category uh, of what we do in there and um, and why you would bother is very hard to measure. It's it's the um, the community of practice, which, as I say, there's maybe 30 leaders, but there's probably more like 50 kids, 50 kids who are fairly regularly logging in. Now, they teach each other to build. I do not run building um, tutorials. In fact, I've never taught a kid anything <laughs> in the entire history of the island. <laughs> So the, the kids find it out for themselves. They fiddle, they watch YouTube videos, they copy scripts from, uh, from the internet, they plug those scripts into their objects and they see what happens. And then they fiddle and then they hack and they just play around. And then they teach each other. And uh, then they get together with building projects. And, and the rule we have is that if a kid wants to have land and therefore the right to build anything other than in our sandbox, They've got to submit an official building form to me. That building form has got to have a budget, timeline, 
a justification for the building, how it will fit aesthetically with the uh, island. Um, you know, we don't want to overdevelop <laughs> the space. Um, uh, their parents have got to sign because I don't want um, their, the I want the parents to know what's happening. And then I give them land and, and they build. And we've got that art gallery, we've got a bookstore, we've got a, an auditorium where we can take classes to sit down in. We've got a chapel. <laughs> um, and that's not an ironic chapel, that's a, a, a quite serious chapel um, where the kids can go um, and be spiritual. Um, we've got countless shops trading objects, um, costumes, scripts. Uh, we've got a maths maze where for the kid to get through that maths maze they have to solve maths problems so they go into a compartment they um they're asked a question they type in the an 